looks like we're going live. All right. Welcome to um, Hissom Tabernacle Church of the Nazarene here on Bigley, off of Bigley Avenue. Wednesday night Bible study. So what we'll start with now is some praise reports. Anybody have a praise report? Comes Pastor Bonnie. Praise report. Well, I had enough materials at home to make a whole lot of banana, um, pumpkin rolls today. So tomorrow for lunch, if you want a piece of pumpkin roll, come by. Felicia will be serving them in, in the box lunches. Homemade icing, made from scratch, pumpkin rolls. And tonight we're having an um, apple snack. Um, green apples and caramel. It goes with our, excuse me, with our lesson. Do we have any prayer requests? Yes. Well, Miss Murray White, please. All um, right. Do you want some caramel and apples? That's she's the uh, in the hospital right at Kanoe. She's at uh, what, Moria? Okay, but anyway, she's in the hospital. And they may possibly be pulling the plug on her soon. Oh, yes, and her name was? Mary White. Mary White. Uh -huh. Mary White. Pastor Larry? Uh, Pastor Larry. Yeah, I haven't heard, so I don't know if he's home or not. He was supposed to call me, or let me know when he got home. Because we've got people who want to take meals and food to him. Okay. And uh, I didn't hear from him. So I assume they didn't let him go home today. That's our, all. <laughs> our Bible lesson tonight? One's not here. I keep my family in prayer. Davidson family? Is that right? Stevenson. 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 Okay. Stevenson family. Patty Hissom. Yes. yes. I have told her... Uh, to, uh, somebody's suggestion at the picnic that she try to get referred to Cleveland Clinic. Cleveland Clinic. Because I'm yeah. concerned that there may not be a surgeon around here that knows how to do what needs to be done. And that's why they keep putting it off. Mm -hmm. So she was going to look into that. Tina Badger comes to mind in her legs. And she's not here. Uh, Miss White is uh, Tina's uh, uh, girlfriend. They went to school together. Oh, that's okay. the reason why I spoke of her name. Yes. Okay. Uh, Tina just got text tested yesterday, okay. and she may not have got her results, results. yet. So, okay, that's why. Okay. Yeah, that may be one of the reasons she's not here. All right. And her COVID results, too. Paul Nestor, he's not here. Either. Paul he Nestor. And he always asks for his sons. Um, I'm really concerned and children. about Paul because when he was here the last time, last Wednesday, he was very, very weak. Yeah. Um, sat there with his head down, <clears throat> not like him at all, okay. and almost fell two or three times. So I'm concerned that something's going on there, and you all don't know his one son very well, John. But no, Paul. No, Paul. Paul. I don't even know if Paul would call an ambulance if he needed one. That's what's got me concerned. And I have no way of calling Paul. Um, I know he lives in that apartment building right at the mouth of Harrison Avenue. But <coughs> I'm just really concerned about him. We'll go by and check on him tomorrow. Uh, only other thing that I can tell you is I drove past people yesterday. There was a church sitting outside, but other than that, he was not in the church at the time when I go past. I haven't heard from him since then. Okay? He, he doesn't have a real good situation. Let's no. see. Is Paul in the hospital? Well, we don't know. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know about Paul. Nobody's ever told us. and uh, Now, I would think that his son, Paul Lee, might call me. Um, I should. Ch I need to check my messages at the house to see if there's anything from him. Okay. 
And I don't know if John's still there or not. No, he's no, not. No, no, John's and not John, there. Uh, John is in Charleston Arbor. Yeah. He called me night for last. Country so. and our government. Right. Our officials. We don't know if he's home yet. He was. No. I talked to him last night, and he thought he was going home today. But I said, let me know when you go home, because we'll bring you... Or see, have someone bring you lunch every day from the lunch program, and people will want to bring food in because he's too sick and too weak. He's going to come home with oxygen. So um, I'm assuming since he has didn't let me know that he's not home. Any other prayer requests? I know there's many needs, and I know that we have a church bulletin full of them. Uh, Linda Holstein is in the process of moving. Yes. And um, uh, she says to pray for her because she's, mm. you know, packed up and ready to move. She's closing on the new townhouse um, October 28th. Anybody want to lead in prayer? Oh, pray for... Um, Tina's husband, Chris, Tina Blake McConnell, Chris McConnell, um, Emmy's brother-in-law, he's trying to pass a kidney stone. He passed one, but he's got another one. He was in incredible pain when I was up there over the weekend. Just incredible pain. Melissa, best. Pastor Bonnie, won't you... Pray for us, with us. Dear precious Heavenly yes, Father, we thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day. Yes, oh, Lord. my goodness, what a beautiful fall day. Um, I thank you for the seasons. It gives us a chance to experience your splendor in different ways. Your, the colorful leaves in the fall, the beautiful snow in the winter, the blossoming again in the spring, and uh, wonderful, warm, sunshiny days. So in the summer. So we thank you, Lord, in your wisdom that you gave us seasons, and and they're mentioned in the Bible. So we, we know it was part of your plan. So, uh, Father God, we just come to you with so much praise. You are so good to us. You are so awesome and loving, and you love us no matter what. Yes. And just can't thank you enough, can't praise you enough. And I thank you for this church. I thank you for our pastor and her leadership and her wisdom and the way you're helping her and um, giving her guidance. And we just pray that you will uh, touch her and, and and touch what's going on in her life and give continue to give her wisdom. And I thank you for everyone that is here. I pray for those that aren't here. Yes, Lord. I pray that you will be with them. And I lift up all these prayer requests. Oh, you know everything about them. Uh, we, I don't know Mary White, but you do. And I understand she's in very serious condition. Yes. So, Lord, I pray that you will be with her and be with the doctors and nurses that tend to her. I pray for Brother Board that, yes. that you will completely heal him up. He's yes, weak, 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 and I'm very sick. Still very sick, but maybe coming home with some oxygen. And I pray, Lord, that um, you will help him to heal, touch his body. I pray for Patty that somehow this surgery will take yes, place or you'll heal her back. I pray that maybe she could get connected with Cleveland Clinic and someplace that can get her some help. She's yeah. suffered with this so long. And I lift up the Stevenson family. You know everything that's yes. going on there. We don't have to know. But you know all about it. And uh, you're the one who can meet every need. Yes, Lord. And then our, our deep concern for Paul Nestor tonight, Paul Lord. We, Nestor. We don't know how to get a hold of him. We don't know what's going on. Nobody has seen him. Last time he was here, he was very weak yes, and, Lord. And, and stumbling and and uh, not himself. And um, so, Lord, I just pray for Paul and for the whole situation where he lives and for his sons and for their salvation. I lift up Linda Holstein, who's in the process of moving. And it's a very tough thing to do and traumatic and stressful, so I pray that you'll give her peace. And then I looked up Brother Chris McConnell, and um, he's yes. been suffering with his kidney stones. I pray, Lord, that he will pass that Lord, final stone, and all will be well. 
Uh, he's a good mm -hmm. Christian man, trusting in you. Lift up our Bible study tonight. Yes. Lift up our country, Lord. Our Oh, Father, we need a revival. Yes. We need a revival. And if it's going to happen, it has to start with each one of us. Yes. So pour out your vows of mercy on our nation. Forgive yes. us and heal our land. Yes, Lord. Yes, have Lord. mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Yes. And be in our Bible study tonight and help us to draw closer to you through what we learn. Learn more from your word and become stronger. May we be better tomorrow than we were today yes, and Lord. better today than we were yesterday <clears throat> so help us to be better every day closer to you stronger in you trusting more in you in jesus name amen amen, amen. can you lead us in that sanctuary song lord prepare me to be a sanctuary pure and holy tried and true with thanksgiving I'll be a living sanctuary for you Lord prepare me to be a sanctuary pure and holy Tried and true, with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for you. I don't know if I know this one. Thank you, Lord. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. Worthy of all praise, and to you I give my praise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise, and to you my life I give. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Amen. God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with it. Some power and love, our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wings. Some power and love, our God is an awesome God. Yes. He reigns. Yes, forever and ever he reigns. Our God reigns. Yep. Yes, it's in control. When you're saved, when we're saved, we have a different outlook on life. We look at things and we see things in a different light. As I was leaving my home today and I was talking with Warren, we all know who Warren is in this room, and... Um, I said, you know, sometimes when you see an ant, you want to kill it. <laughs> yes. I said, and sometimes when you have the flies, yes. you want to kill it. <laughs> but sometimes, like the time that he sent that ant that he crawled across my arm and I could feel my left arm for the first time after my stroke. Yep. You didn't want to kill that one, did you? I yeah. didn't want to kill that ant. <laughs> And I've been doing a lot of canning, and I love it. And I love learning about God's creation and all that he supplies us. And, and I give out apple butter, and I give out apple sauce, and give out apples. And it's just a nice fall season. And I said, Lord, I need, I need a ministry here. When I give this stuff out, I want to tell them of you. I tell them, you know, that... 
this come from you, and he gave me the health to pick it, and we go down, you know, the list. I said, but I want a lesson. Can you give me a lesson? And I dwelled on that for some time. So tonight, I want to give to you what the Spirit told me about this apple. <laughs> and so we're enjoying caramel and apple tonight, most of us. But apples, they are all in different sizes, and he gives them to us all different shapes. Okay. But that particular day, I had a green one, much like this one. And this is kind of a yellowish green, but I mean, it was green. And it was probably the biggest apple I've ever seen. And as a teacher, you know, they'd usually bring me red ones. But this day, I had a green one. Genesis 1, 27. Mm -hmm. who, wants to, who wants to find that? Psalms 23, 2. These are the scriptures that came to mind. Genesis what? One. One, chapter one, 27. Much like the apple, God created us with a purpose. He knew us before we were in the womb. Something special about us in Genesis 1.27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created in him. Created male and female. Created in them. Then it goes on to say that it was good. Psalms 23, 2. We probably know that one by heart. He makes me lie down, makes me lie down in the green pasture. <laughs> he leads me beside the still water. Right. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. Oh, how sweet. It is sweet to walk by the Spirit. It is sweet to walk in our calling. He's in control of everything. He is in control of each and every circumstance that we have to walk through. And oh, as days go by, it's sweeter and sweeter as long as I have Jesus. Amen. He gives me peace past, that passes all understanding. And I do have a nice green pasture to walk out and look at from my front door. How thankful should I be for that? Oh, just where he gives us to dwell at. God continually provides food and rest for those he loves. God created the apple as food. Just Jesus is also, has also provided us with a spiritual food. John 6 50 and 51. Read it when you find it. Nice and loud. John what? Six. 50. Oh. John 6. 6. John 6 and then go to verse 50 and 51. We're talking about Jesus. There you go, John 50. That was a Bible test right there. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's right. What is Jesus? Yes. Um, it says, This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that one may eat of, of it and not die. I am the living bread which come, which came down from heaven. If any anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And the bread that I shall give is my flesh, 
which I shall give for the life of the world. Isn't it <coughs> sweet how how um, the Holy Spirit brings you right back to the first step of salvation? To have green pastures, to be part of the flock, you must go by and through Jesus Christ. And the fruit of the Spirit that's implanted to you when you're saved by the Holy Ghost. Oh, how sweet. Let's talk about when you cut open the apple. What do you find? The core. The core, the seed. The core of the apple. Mm -hmm. I find the seeds. Mm -hmm. core and the seed. Sometimes you can count these seeds. Mm -hmm. It means that we have enough seeds to sow. But sharing the seeds of life can never be counted. I couldn't count them. Could you? When the word goes out, it's up to the Holy Spirit to decide. We might just be sitting in this room, but how many hearts and minds can each one of us touch with the word? The seed. Isaiah 55, 11, What does it say? My allergies always. <laughs> I shouldn't even have them in one so many allergy pills at the moment. Try to get rid of this. Oh, itchy, brash. The next one is Matthew 5 6. And so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth and shall return. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where do I send it. That's right. Anybody have anything to say about that one? Well, um, the key thing about this this scripture, that, or, the thing that comes to my mind is, it shall not return to me void. Yes. Um, when you share the scripture, it's God's holy word. It's and living. Yes. It doesn't even, I mean, it matters, but even if your life isn't perfect at the time, God's word is. That's right. Amen. You know? And um, people have questioned sometimes, you know, certain preachers who have been caught in trouble. And they wondered about their preaching down through the years. But see, as long as they're preaching the word... I mean, they're not living right, and they're not going to go to heaven like that. But the Word will stand on its own. Amen. And it will not return. The, the Word will speak for God. And if they're not preaching the Word, then that's, they're really in bad shape. But as long as God's Word is um, it's powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. Amen. And um, when you share His Word... <clears throat> Even if your life isn't perfect, His Word is. That's very wise. Even though our life is not perfect, when the Holy Spirit gives us a word, mm -hmm. it is perfect. Right. His Word is perfect. Convicts and heals at the same time. Mm -hmm. The mighty Word of God. Living that's what it is. It's a living word. Who has the next one? Matthew 5, 6. Okay. So blessed, are, oh, yeah, no. blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for, the, for they shall be filled. Right. As I was eating my apple, meditating on the scripture... I noticed how I needed to wipe off my Bible pages because the juice was on my, on my pages. And so we hunger and we thirst after God. We, that's where we need to be. We need to always be seeking and we always need to be focused on Him. 
in this time of COVID and we're in isolation, we think we think of everything but it seems like. We get we feeling we we have feelings of aloneness and feelings of despair and of depression and anxiety and fear and we're afraid. But if we could just break out of that shell and hunger and thirst after God. Oh, what a better shape we would be in. Like the apple, our bodies decay. Is that the end? What happens to our soul? Our soul goes back to the Lord. Which, where He wants us to be in His presence. Right. When our body dies, it decays. But the soul is present with the Lord. Romans 6.23. What if we're not ready? You're lost. You're lost. What if you're not ready? What is sin then? Separation from... Separation. No sin can enter into the kingdom of heaven. Amen. I like this verse, 623. For it tells me right there what, what sin is. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal. Amen. Eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. An apple rots and decays, but it served its purpose. This flesh rots, decays, and it serves its purpose. And our soul, the second death, we have to be very concerned about that. We can't just straddle the fence. I don't want to be that person that's in a car wreck and my family has to guess. If, if my last fleeting moments, uh, I got it right with God or not. That's not the kind of life that God wanted us to live. No way. Because he wouldn't have sent his son. Nope. To die on a cruel cross. 2 Corinthians 5.10 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that even one may receive the things done in his body according to that has does whether it whether it be good or bad. Very good. Tells us that yes, after this body dies and our soul returns to the Creator, you're gonna have a second death. The death of the soul or the life of the soul. And you're either gonna go one place or the other. According to to what you did. Did you accept Jesus or did you not? I said, wow, hallelujah, what a lesson. And it started with a simple object like an apple. And then he gave me this whole new little book that I'm supposed to be writing. And so what is fruit? What is the fruit of the Spirit? Love, love, joy, peace, joy, happiness, peace, long suffering, goodness, kindness, yes, self control. Uh -huh. Galatians five twenty two and twenty three. All the fruits of the spirit. Joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, virtue, knowledge, endurance, pity, and brotherly love. That's what Peter one five and eight says. Peter and Paul both wrote about the whole about the um, 
fruits of the Spirit. And the two most common is love, love. and self-control. And self-control. You have to have the love first. And I'm glad that the Holy Spirit gave me the love. Because when you're saved, you know that you've passed from death into life because you have love. Love for one another. So then, on Facebook, I was looking after I came through a couple of those with the Spirit that I don't know, a couple weeks. And it said BFF. Mm. I said, that's an interesting title. Mm-hmm. Be the fruit of the Spirit. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a pretty good title. Thank you, Lord. I'll just uh, run with that. So on Tuesdays, that's kind of what we're studying up upstairs. And boy, are we having a good time with it. We really had a t- good time talking about love and joy yesterday. And next week is peace and any any things you want to add tonight? Well, I watched your service, and it was very good. I watched it on Facebook, and I thought, yep, that's um, that's a very good lesson. And uh, you're doing a good job up there with that. I'm glad you're doing that. It was really Great sweet. Reach out and share the love. That's what it's all about. Yeah. That's what it's all Joy about. Joy is the result of love. Think about that. Joy is the result of love. Without love, we wouldn't have joy. Nope. <laughs> love kind of is the tip of the iceberg. iceberg well the key thing to remember though is happiness is not one of the fruits of the spirit no happiness is not joy is it's an emotion happiness, happiness is. is not why because happiness is fleeting mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it is a um, it is based on your circumstances what's going on in your life like this weekend, I got. I went to Princeton. I was preaching at that church Sunday morning. That pastor was on vacation, and he had asked me to preach. And I was. I stayed with Chris and Tina and Linda, and we just had such a good time. And uh, they just lived in this most beautiful place out in, way up in the country, and and um, up on a hill. And it was a beautiful day, beautiful weather, and it was just a wonderful time. And we got to talking about that, about joy and happiness, and um, and Lin, you know, like it was so good. Linda's real; ha- she considers that home now, and she's happy there. She said the last time she came to Charleston, she was anxious to get back home. Mm-hmm. Beca- and it's um, it's it's a homey place, and they're very sweet people, and you could feel the love, and and it was just a wonderful time, and so. I was real happy, you know, that whole weekend I was real happy, and of course I had joy, but I mean, that brought happiness into my life, but you know, you can, then I came back home and reality hit me. That's <laughs> right, and then there went the happy winner. But I still have and my joy. joy. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Oh boy. <laughs> That's right. So I mean, happiness is fleeting. And it's joy based on is what's permanent. going on around you, but joy mm-hmm. is constant if you have the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's the fruit of the Spirit, and it's that joy is inside you, and you can have joy no matter what's going on around you. Amen. And you talked about that, didn't you? That joy, and you talked about joy and joys. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> joy and joys. <laughs> joy is over here. <laughs> And she is a joy. Yes. Her name suits her. Yes. We um, we started out with asking who or what comes to mind when you talk about joy. Right. And so the person, two people in my life, joy and Joyce. Okay. And they're different altogether. Mm-hmm. One is living a life with mm-hmm. Christ. And one hasn't clearly made a profession. Okay. But both bring me joy. Yeah. Both people bring joy. Both bring, make me happy. Joy. 
one thing about love is kind of what God deals with is He loves everyone, but not everyone loves Him. Amen. That's right. You can love, but that don't mean you're going to get the same in return. That's right. So that's if you choose to love, if you if you love, it, it's not happiness like she said all the time. It ain't going to be happy love all the time. Mm -hmm. That's what God goes through. And we experienced that in our life. We spoke about four, three or four types of love. You know, the romantic love, love. friendship, friendship, brotherly love, love, brotherly love. Um, love. agape love, mm -hmm. unconditional love. love. And that unconditional love that he has for us, for us. we should also have for other Christians. It, it helps It helps bring us peace and joy. Um love um, triumphs all. You know, we've said mm -hmm. that. that uh, it, it just, um, once you feel that love, you know, it's somebody can offend me or do something to me or or I can forgive and still love the soul and love the person. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean I might trust them as much as I did before. But we can still forgive and, like peace, get along. Yes. Get along. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's like we can, we're supposed to forgive, and we say, I don't know if I can forgive, but God knows everything about us and still chooses to, to forgive us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. If He can do that, <laughs> yes, that's a good one. To do yes. That? yes. Who, are, who are we to say we can if He can? Mm -hmm. Yes. That was a good one. Needed that one this morning or yesterday mm -hmm. morning. That, that's because. We can see that an animal can show you unconditional love and then you show it right back. But when people try to, when we try to show here's unconditional love, we have to show the deepest part of what Christ means of the unconditional love. He loved us when we were in our mess. He wanted us, number two, he wanted us to come out of the mess of sin that we were in. And number three, he wants us to know his love, that when we show others of his love, how he can save us from sin, that changed us. So that we can love. Mm -hmm. And from mm -hmm. sin love. Because we have the love, Holy Spirit. There you to go. The Spirit's love is because... He changes us on the inside. He's in there, and he yeah. has to come out, out, and it comes out in an expression of love. That's one thing about, I've told people sometimes, you have to love somebody from a distance. God's not going to force himself on us. Nope. That's right. He's going to love us from a distance. And he, you know, he's going to approach us at times, and if we reject him, then, you know, he's... He's still going to just, he's not going to force it. No. Nope. Yep. And he'll still love you regardless. Because he will. Love from a distance. Yep. That's the hardest way to love somebody. That's always something to Always said he It's hard to love from a distance, though. Yes. It's, Pray. I'm yeah. going through that now, and it's really hard. Yeah. It's very hard. I mean, it's very hard because, you know, I went through a spell, uh, I don't know, a pity party, I guess it would be. Mm -hmm. That a couple years back, like, you know, I'm just gonna stop going out places, visiting people, yeah. quit calling people, see how many friends I really do have. Oh mm. boy! You know the only one oh, that boy. calls me is Larry. Yeah. <laughs> He's the only one that calls oh, me, right. checks on me, and, oh, and, right. and that's and then that means a lot when it yes. is. Yes. All at the same time, how many times you know? Through that, I know people's got busy lives and right. work and family, and you know people get tired. And how how much have I checked up on them? You know, at the same time, you know God, and He He works through that too, because you know God say, how how often are you coming to me and, Amen. and loving on me? You know Amen. how how much t communication you you uh, give me. Mm -hmm. You know, some people just don't want love. Some people <laughs> just... You know, they, they want their, their privacy. They want to be by themselves. They're okay with everything. They don't need 
They don't need family around. Mm -hmm. They don't need they don't need visitors or anything like that. And that's fine, but you know, at the same time, there's people out there wanting to love on you. Right. You know. Well, there are some who have been in abusive situations who don't believe they're worthy of love. Of love. Mm -hmm. And so they don't understand they don't understand the Christian love that loves them no matter what. And um, Good point. I've prayed with them. And they'll say, you know, mm -mm, there's no way God could love, love me with all the stuff mm -hmm. I've done. And um, I go, yeah, he did. He, yeah, he, he does. Paul, and Paul was a murderer. That's true. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, a lot of people don't understand love either it's because they haven't been showed love. That's right. Yeah, they, they don't know how love. to accept it. They, they, they don't know a, how to. They have a to, distorted yeah. view of love. Because, it's like this dude weird. Yeah. And says he loves me and do anything in the world for me and don't want nothing in exchange. You know, right. they think that's you know, crazy. That's there ain't yeah. nothing. There's a catch. You know? There's a catch. Yeah. What? 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 what, what. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not trusting. They're a little but, bit suspicious. Know, and, and there's people out there like that. But you know, once we get past that barrier to know that, hey, you know. Uh, to be that brotherly love or that yeah. sisterly love for right. one person, it's 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 good. Right. Well, that kind of concludes tonight's lesson. I might want to say that uh, the week before our picnic, I got to feeling weak and couldn't breathe. I couldn't walk from here to the table up there. I'd have to sit down. And I just told my wife, I said, I'm not getting any better. So we went to my heart doctor and they checked me all out. I couldn't find nothing, but Sunday come along for the picnic. I just couldn't make it. I knew if I went out there, I couldn't sit for maybe 15 minutes. So, I just got to talking to the Lord. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I'm just Amen. glad I'm here tonight. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Yeah. We're glad you're here too, Praise brother. Yes. Praise Praise God. I started getting better. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're, you're fine. fine. No, no, no. You're, no. you're fine. You're good. I just thought, you know, it was my time coming. If it was, I was ready. Good. I, amen. Good. I understand you. Good. I was able to walk in here tonight. Praise the Lord. But we'll just give him the praise. Give and he him the is, praise. Yes. That's all he asks. Just give him the Bless praise. Bless your heart. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He understands and he knows. Yes. That's one good thing. That's testimony that you do that and people yes. hear that because, you know, people think they're tired and they don't want to come by because they've been working all night. Well, some people. We're needed. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's why, you know, we couldn't be here last Wednesday or Sunday, so, and they didn't, they weren't, and they have one man from there yes. who was in the hospital, Charles Morris, mm -hmm. and we should keep praying for him. He was in the hospital for weeks and weeks. Then they moved him to the University of Virginia Hospital, mm -hmm. and now he's back here at, at St. Francis in rehab, mm -hmm. but he's been on ventilator the whole time. Wow. And finally, they, they said they're able to let him off of the ventilator for like maybe a few hours a day. Mm. And he's, it's, now he didn't have the shots, you know, so I don't know, but but he's he's been near death for weeks. Wow. And I just heard my friend Rosemary, and you know Rosemary, she mm -hmm. uh, she um, she has a sister in Texas, uh, and she's older. She's probably about eighty. She's older than Rosemary, and she got COVID, and I have never heard of this before. And I wanted to ask Rosemary today when I saw her at the pool if 
if her sister had any underlying conditions, but because of the time she was without oxygen, she's lost the use of her legs mm. as a result of COVID. Mm. And I don't know, you know, if she had depravity, some of underlying condition and already had a problem, but that is serious stuff. Mm -hmm. And she too wasn't vaccinated. I don't know, mm -hmm. but I just, um, you know, it's um, it's really done a number on the churches. Yes, it has. It's definitely of the devil. I yes, just have to say yes, that. it is. Satanic yes. attack. Yeah. Yes, because mm -hmm. he wants us isolated. He, he wants yeah, he, us. He, he wants, wants us, us isolated, depre and he doesn't depressed. Want us to be in church. Right. Doesn't want us meeting together. No, and, um, we can't use our corporate. We can't right. use our gifts in a corporate right. setting if and we're not there's, here. There's strength in numbers. Strength in numbers. You know? Yes, and we we get we draw strength from each other and from, testimonies from, from God, but also from each other. Mm -hmm. And um, been bad, it's been bad. But that reminds me, we also want to keep praying for Claus. Claus. I haven't called him for a couple of days, but I think the last time I talked to him, he thought he was going to be in there about four more weeks. So he's still in the rehab center. I'll make you try to call him. And if I can get in to see him, I will. But when I called the last time, they weren't letting anybody in because they had a breakout of COVID in the nursing home, in the rehab center. <clears throat> Brother Larry, would you pray over the offering there? Father, we just thank you for this day, Lord. We just thank you for the opportunity yes, to be here, Lord. And the be able to give those that are able to give lord we just know we just can't out give you lord we just thank you for all that you're doing all that you're going to do take this offering lord and use it for you and your glory and the building of the kingdom Amen. lord and show us the direction to go with it whatever it may be lord no task is too big for you lord we just thank you for it all in jesus name amen, amen. 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 If, you don't, if you have any time you haven't put in because we weren't in church be sure to put it in be sure to put your tithe in a little extra since we ain't been in church a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> a whole week. Yes, a whole week, man. It just seems drug-oid. Right. 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 Sure okay. It hasn't worked. It hasn't done it. I haven't been able to do it yet. It Brother Timmy, would seat. you dismiss us in prayer? I've always heard he owns the hills and all the hills. Oh, that's right. That's right. Paul Nestor likes to say he owns the cattle on a thousand hills and all the taters, too. And would you remember um, Claus in this prayer? Yeah. And I'm still waiting my biopsy Hold on, come to Richard. off my back. Pastor James. Yes. Today when I went to the doctor, and when I went, and you know that I told you that I was going to listen. Yes. And when I took every pill that I've got right here, and the listen, everything lined up. Uh, when, I, when I went back in, she come in, Dr. Sinclair come in and said, David, you got your A1C now. Amen. 6. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 6.3. 6.3. 6. That's below 7. That's good. And she says, David, you do the same thing. And here's the challenge. Mm -hmm. We all <laughs> open what he said and open what the doctor said. We're doing what he said. That's right. Do That's what challenge. the Lord says. That's right. Follow the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, Brother Tim, we're ready for that dismissal prayer. Dear Lord, we just thank you for your word. Yes, dear Lord. Father. The word of God is not even in my mouth. Claus, we just thank Lord. you, dear Lord, that we can hear your word, dear Lord, when we speak it. And dear Lord, things happen, dear Lord. Lives are changed and people are healed and uh, your salvation is there. And we thank you for the faith that we can walk by faith and Amen. not by sight, that we can uh, put our trust in you, dear Lord, and not follow our heart, but follow God and, and, and his will. We just love you, Lord, and we just ask you to be with this life, so dear Lord, and Pastor Jay's, dear Lord, to find out what's going on in, in her uh, system, dear Lord Jesus, so I should break out these rash. That, dear Lord, your healing touch would fall down yes. upon Thank your you. throne, your, your healing Thank throne. You, Lord. And, we just uh, ask you to heal her up. And we know we'll give you God's glory, honor, yes. and praise because you deserve it anyway. Dear Lord, we pray for Brother Board and his uh, condition again, dear Lord, and lift him up. And uh, uh, Claus. Uh, Claus uh, that's um, had the uh, 
they had to amputate his leg of that you'll uh, give him a healing streams from yes, your mercy yes. to the throne your lord that uh that uh he'll be able to get out of wherever he's at your yes, lord and, and go through this therapy and, and everything will give you glory on him praise in that also yes. we thank you and everything in advance keep us safe to your in jesus yes. name we pray amen amen, amen. 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 Very good place to be tonight. Amen. Amen. Amen.